Glaciers are made up of specialized structures and cells that protect and maintain the stem cells. Niche cells supply signals that keep the stem cells from differentiating until they are called into action. If a stem cell is removed from its niche, either it dies or differentiates. Each niche is specialized for the needs of the tissue it supports. For instance, the stem cell niche in your intestinal tract contains different signals, support cells, and structures than the niche in your brain. The niche tightly regulates stem cell growth, ensuring that just the right number of cells are produced. Neurons send and receive signals in your brain. Your body makes most of its neurons before birth. But there are at least two regions where stem cells continue to give rise to new neurons. The hippocampus, a brain region important for memory, and the olfactory bulb, which powers your sense of smell. Help this brain form a new memory of where the house keys are. Click and drag the keys onto the hippocampus. Pull the handle to release signals that will activate the stem cell. The stem cell divides. One copy stays in the niche, the other will become a new neuron. The signals activate genes that will transform the stem cell. Neurons come in many shapes and sizes. Projections extending from the cell send and receive signals to and from other neurons. Click on a neuron to send a signal. Stem cells in this niche can also give rise to glial cells. These are the support cells for neurons and perform many important brain functions. Click on the other stem cells to turn them into glial cells. In most areas of the body, stem cells are called into action to replace worn out cells. But in the hippocampus, stem cells are activated to add more neurons to the ones that are already there. Scientists think these new neurons may be important for forming new memories. Skin, hair, and oil gland cells form a protective barrier around your body. The skin continuously sheds dead cells and hair. On a typical day, your scalp loses 50 to 100 hairs. Pull out one of the hairs to send a signal to the stem cell niche to grow a new hair. Stem cells in the hair follicle are responsible for growing new hair fibers. Pull the handle to release signals that will activate the stem cell. The stem cell divides. One copy stays in the niche, the other will become a hair follicle cell. The signals activate genes that will transform the stem cell. Hair follicle cells contain keratin, a fibrous protein that makes the hair tough. Click inside the cell to grow some keratin fibers. The cells start out at the bottom of the hair follicle. Over time, they're pushed up and packed together to form the new hair fiber. Pack the cell together to form the new hair fiber. If the skin gets scratched or cut, stem cells in the hair follicle can also give rise to skin and oil gland cells to repair the wound. Puncture the skin to start the wound healing process. Circulation takes its toll on hard-working red blood cells. They become damaged over time and need to be replaced often. Click to circulate the red blood cells. The stem cell niche responsible for producing blood cells is inside the bones in the bone marrow.
Pull the handle to release signals that will activate the stem cell. The stem cell divides. One copy stays in the niche, the other will become a red blood cell. The signals activate genes that will transform the stem cell. As the new red blood cell matures, it makes lots of hemoglobin, the protein that carries oxygen to tissues in your body. Each red blood cell contains about 270 million hemoglobin molecules. Fill the red blood cell with hemoglobin. Click and drag over the cell. To complete the transformation from stem cell to red blood cell, the nucleus and most of the other organelles are lost. Remove each of the organelles from the cell. This red blood cell will live for about four months in the bloodstream before a new red blood cell takes its place. Move the new red blood cell into the bloodstream. Blood is made up of many different cell types that do a variety of jobs. Stem cells in this niche give rise to many different kinds of cells. Mouse over to explore the different types of blood cells. Inside your intestine are tiny finger-like projections called villi that absorb nutrients and move food through the digestive system. Add a food particle to watch the villi at work. The cells on the surface of the villi live only a few days before they are shed and replaced. This stem cell niche sits inside crypts at the base of the villi. Pull the handle to release signals that will activate the stem cell. The stem cell divides. One copy stays in the niche, the other will become a nutrient absorbing cell for the intestine. The signals activate genes that will transform the stem cell. The new cell will make its way up from the crypt to the villus. As it migrates, it further differentiates to perform its new function, absorbing nutrients from food passing through the gut. Click and drag the cell up to the top of the villus. Stem cells in this niche can become four different cell types. In fact, a single stem cell from this niche can self-organize into a whole villus in just four days. Click to grow some new villi. You might think that your skeleton is just the lifeless framework for your body. Believe it or not, bones are living organs filled with busy cells. Click to enter the bone stem cell niche. Stem cells in this niche maintain and repair our bones. Pull the handle to release signals that will activate the stem cell. The stem cell divides. One copy stays in the niche, the other will become a bone cell. The signals activate genes that will transform the stem cell. These signals work over time during childhood and adolescence, a time of dramatic bone growth. This stem cell will become an osteoblast. Osteoblasts build and repair bones by secreting a special kind of extracellular matrix. One important protein in this matrix is collagen, the most abundant protein in the human body. 
25% of the protein in your body is collagen. Help this osteoblast build bone. Click and drag the collagen-filled vesicles to the cell membrane to release their contents. As the matrix grows, it becomes a solid mass and begins to overtake the cells that produced it. When an osteoblast gets stuck in this hardened matrix, it can't move or divide anymore, but it still performs important functions to keep the bones strong.